Portnoy bred two-year-old trotting fillies. Again, a top five finish. Advances one to the next round. Survive and advance, the name of the game today. Scratch the seven, but Gate Margaret is sick. Again, Dale Heitman is on the one, defiant Victoria. We'll meet the starters shortly. Here are the starters for the fourth race. Number one, Defiant Victoria, owned by John and Linda Howard of Sherman, trained by John Howard, Dale Heitman in the bike. Two, Fox Valley Diva, the Illinois State Fair champion at Springfield, owned by Sally Watt of Carbondale, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number three, Can Lynn, is owned by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas, trained and driven by Jerry Logan. Four is Gia's Speedster, owned by Flacco Family Farms, LLC of Alexis, trained by Joel Miller. Ross Leonard is in the bike. Number five, Our Duena, owned by Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois, by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, trained by Dirk Simpson, the driver Dave McGee. Six is Sassy Marla, owned by Mark Franzen, by Barbara and Gail Austin of Big Rock and Morrison, Illinois, trained by Mark Franzen, Tony Morgan, the driver. Seven, but here they come. They're off and trotting. Gia Speedster goes out for the lead. Sassy Marla there on the far outside. Defiant Victoria toward the rail. Can Lynn comes out trotting in fourth. Then our Duena on the outside of Fox Valley Diva, who gets away next to last, racing six lengths off the lead at the entry to the first turn. El Bohemian is one more spot behind her. Gia Speedster goes to the lead by three lengths. Ross Leonard trying to rate her speed now as they go to the quarter. Defiant Victoria second. Then Can Lynn is third. And our Duena moves up quickly on the outside into fourth around Sassy Marla. And here comes Fox Valley Diva. 31 and 2 for the opening quarter. El Bohemian is last. Our Duena, the first to move on the outside. And Fox Valley Diva comes right behind her. Then El Bohemian comes behind her. Racing toward the half mile mark. Our Duena, brief lead. It's going to be short lived because Fox Valley Diva gets the lead. El Bohemian moves up into third, just one length away. Gia Speedster all of a sudden goes from first to third to fourth. Defiant Victoria drops back behind her. Sassy Marla moving up on the outside, but seven lengths off the leader. Can Lynn trails the half in 102. Fox Valley Diva leads at three parts of a length to El Bohemian, then Our Duena. Gap of two to Gia's Speedster, flanked by Sassy Marla, then Defiant Victoria, and Can Lynn. Midway on the last turn. Fox Valley Diva on top by a length. El Bohemian needs to find more. Needs to find it quick because our Duena still there pinned down toward the inside of her. And then Gia's speedster, Sassy Marla, Defiant Victoria, and Can Lynn. Fox Valley Diva now beginning to open up off three quarters and one thirty-one and three. Looking like a one to nine favorite should here. Fox Valley Diva by eight lengths off the turn to El Bohemian on the outside of our Duena. Gia's speedster goes wide toward the center of the track along with Sassy Marla who's off stride. Coming down toward the finish. Fox Valley Diva serving notice that the Illinois State Fair and those other six wins were anything but a fluke. Gia Speedster is moving up with defiant Victoria well behind the leader. It is all Fox Valley Diva. Fox Valley Diva won it by 15. It was defiant Victoria second. Gia Speedster third. Also advancing to the final unofficially were El Bohemian fourth and Can Lynn fifth. The time in two minutes, two fifths. Let's see if we can grab a word in the winner's circle with Sally Watt of Carbondale. Sally, this filly has had to be quite a treat for you, but you're no stranger to harness racing. How long have you been in the business? Oh, about 21 years. Are you a Carbondale native? No, I'm not. You have been in Carbondale, though, for how long? I'm not going to tell you that. It's been a long time. <laughs> Where are you from originally? I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Have you ever had a filly like this? Um, sort of. We uh, bred and started racing uh, Stepatoon. Uh, as a two-year-old, and then we sold her, and she went on, you know, to be one of the top pacing fillies and was the Illinois Horse of the Year four years running. She was a champion pacing filly in Illinois. Heard a lot of people cheering for Fox Valley Diva. You didn't happen to bring any friends today, did you? I've got a stand full up there. 
They're coming back Saturday? Uh, most of them, I hope, will be. If not, they're missing something really great. We'll look forward to Saturday. Good luck in the championship. Thank you so much, Court. That's Sally Watt of Carbondale, unofficially our winning owner.